Today, I am going to discuss about the small incision cataract surgery. Now, let us see the steps of small incision cataract surgery. Before entering into the steps, now let us see what are the steps that are going to be done before the surgery. That is, we should perform the ocular anesthesia. Ocular anesthesia is performed to reduce ocular motility and reduces corneal sensation. So, it is performed by injecting 5 ml of lignocaine, 5 ml of bupivacaine and hyaluronase. And superior block is performed at 90 degrees in supraorbital notch, 90 degrees directly it should be withdrawn. Now let us enter into the steps of SICS. The first step is application of universal lid speculum. Universal lid speculum helps in opening the lid throughout the surgery and uh, the name universal is given as it is applicable for both right and left eye. The second step is superior rectus bridal suture. It stabilizes the globe. The third step is conjunctival peritomy. It is performed in tenon's capsule. The fourth step is bipolar cauterization. It is performed with the help of cautery which helps in decreasing the bleeding. The fifth step is construction of sclerocorneal tunnel. Construction of sclerocorneal tunnel is the critical step in the whole small incision cataract surgery and the next step that is side port is constructed and through side port air bubble is injected side port is of 1.5 mm the seventh step is the in injection of trifin blue dye through the side port and the eighth step is injecting viscoelastic substances through side port viscoelastic substance helps in maintenance of AC and the next step is ninth step that is continuous curvilinear capsular excess is performed. It is performed with the help of the instrument called keratome and a 26 scotch needle that helps in continuous curvilinear capsular excess and for this the ideal size is 5.5 to 6.5 mm and after this procedure Again, viscoelastic substances is injected through side port to maintain AC. And the next step is hydro dissection. Hydro dissection is performed with the help of a balanced salt solution attached to the cannula, and this helps in separation of cortex from posterior capsule. And the eleventh step is rotation of nucleus. Rotation of nucleus to anterior chamber and uh, again visco is performed through the side port to form the AC and the twelfth step is delivery of nucleus with the help of vertis. Vertis is an instrument that helps in delivery of nucleus. The thirteenth step is cortex aspiration. Cortex aspiration is done with the help of Cinco's two-way irrigation aspiration cannula. This instrument consists of two pores that is called as aspirating pore and irrigation pore. Aspiration pore is present on anterior side and irrigation pore is present in side. So this helps in cortex aspiration. And the next step is again to inject the viscoelastic through side pore to form the AC. So next one is the most important step that is implantation of rigid IOL. This IOL is made, made up of polymethyl meta acrinine. After the 14th step, the most important one to check is major thing to be checked whether visco is removed or not. Because when visco is not removed, it occludes the angle structure and increases the intraocular pressure so that patient may end up with pain and irritation. After surgery, as visco is a foreign substance, how to confirm that visco is removed? Inject with empty syringe through side port. When there is single big bubble formation, then there is no more visco. But when many small bubbles with a frothy appearance, then we should confirm that visco is not still removed. So there should be continuous washing up to the visco is completely removed. 
and the next step is 15th one covering the sclerocorneal tunnel again the important step is to inject the antibiotics that is 0.5 ml of dexamethasone injection and 0.5 ml of gentamicin injection before removing the lid speculum so after this one we should apply the cotton bandage so the complications of small incision cataract surgery is end of the almighties is the main one thanks for watching do like share and subscribe the channel thank you